Hey guys, it's Matt with AppleMediaCenter.com and today I'm going to show you how to download and install a Sega Genesis emulator as well as Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and have everything up and running in under 5 minutes. First thing we're going to do is go to AppleMediaCenter.com and we're going to go to the video game emulation and controller section. This is where you have all the information on uh, all the various video game emulators. You can search the internet for all this stuff, but really I keep it the most up to date, I think. So um, you're pretty much safe <laughs> going here and getting all your emulator emulators here. So the one we want is a Sega Genesis emulator called Genesis Plus. So I'm going to click that. It takes me to the website where it's hosted. And you would just click download right here. Now I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download that again. But um, you know, if you click that, you would have downloaded it. The next thing we're going to do is get our video game ROM, which is going to be Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Uh, in the ROM section, it'll tell you various ROM sites you can go to if you want to get individual ROMs. I like using Cool ROM. It's very simple and easy. It's never really done anything wrong on my computer. So um, you can search by the various systems, video game systems, or you can just search for the exact game. I'm going to go and just search for the exact game. Sonic the Hedgehog, I've already typed it in, 3. So that's loading. Okay, so there it is for Sega Genesis, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. I'm going to click that. And now it's a lot of ads are popping up, but you can ignore those. Basically, it's going to make you wait a couple of seconds before you can actually download your file. So don't think you're getting scammed on this website. It just makes you wait a little while. And as you'll see, in about one second, I'll have my link. Okay, you can download the file. Do I want to save it? Yes, I do takes literally a second to do. So now with that done, we've got everything we need in our downloads folder. I'm going to open the Genesis Plus um, file. I'm going to drag that to my desktop just to have it there. I'm going to open the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 file. And this is the file we want, the Sonic the Hedgehog 3.smd. I'm going to bring that there too. Now I'm going to open Genesis Plus. Yes, it's an application from the internet. I want to open it. Now, what it's asking me to do is open a ROM file right now. So uh, what I could do is just go to the desktop and say open Sonic the Hedgehog 3, but I don't want to do that just yet. I want to look at the, um, the keys for the keyboard, because I'm going to be using a keyboard for this demonstration. Um, and as you can see here, my, uh, my arrow keys are where my arrow keys are. And then A, B, C, D, you've got Option, Shift, and Control. So now that I know what the keys are, I'm just going to hit OK, hit OK. I'm going to go to File, Open, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, and just like that, it opens up. And now I'm just literally playing Sonic the Hedgehog 3, as if I had a Sega Genesis in my apartment. And just using my keyboard, I'm playing the game. Gotta love these intro sequences. So here I am jumping. I mean, I'm not really trying my hardest. <laughs> but, you know, there you go. I'm playing the game. You can also um, pause the game with the start button, which would be the return key. You can enlarge the window like this to make it bigger. Man, does that look good. Or you can get. Um, uh, the emulator enhancer, which will allow you to do full screen mode, will be in here somewhere. Um, but that's pretty much it. Under five minutes, you're playing Sonic 3, and you can do the same thing for any other Sega Genesis game. Uh, and if you look at the emulator section, you can get any other emulator and pretty much do the exact same thing. So I hope this was helpful, and I hope you keep reading AppleMediaCenter.com. Stay up to date on the latest Media Center news, or ask us a question on our Twitter account at AAPL Media Center.